we have uh, 21 total positions. Uh, we're six short uh, right now. Um, the Smith County Sheriff's Office is the primary answering point for Smith County, excluding Lindell, the city of Lindell and the city of Tyler. Uh, we roughly answer about 8,000 911 calls a month. Uh, it's a very, very bu busy place and it takes a special person to work in there. Yeah, and so with um, your six openings, can you tell people how that really affects you, your work, especially getting, you know, um, the number of calls you guys get, um, you know, on a monthly basis? Sure, so what it does is it takes the the workload and instead of spreading it out over more people, it's more concentrated because we are working short staff. Um, we have a bunch of phenomenal candidates uh, in the hiring process right now and a bunch of great employees in the training program. But our training program takes about four to six months. So it takes a while to get somebody in, get them trained. Uh, but we're working through that and we have a bunch of great employees here. Yeah, um, and I know something that really um, is affecting kind of the hiring process and everything is the fact that, um, you know, right now they're working on comp time versus overtime and you guys, um, the, I guess, um, commissioner's court approved to kind of have that change, you know, how is that going to affect things and make things different um, and encourage people, you know, to come uh, stay, you know, with the program, but also um, encourage people to come and, and be a part of it? Well, everybody likes money, right? So whenever you're getting paid for working over, um, People tend to enjoy that more than getting PTO put um, on the books. So actually getting people to come in to work and getting to work for time and a half uh, will be really enjoyable for them. Yeah, about how many applicants have you guys, um, you know, are you, have gotten so far? How many, you know, what is that process looking like right now? So because of our strict hiring standards and, and trying to get the right people, um, we hire on average about one out of every 15 applicants that we get. And so we have very strict hiring standards uh, that we, it takes us a while to get the, the right applicant in and get them in the door. But what we've seen is we've seen a culture shift whenever, since we started doing that. And so we have people that are really team minded uh, and want to work together. Yeah. What are those strict hiring standards, if I could ask? Yeah. Um, so um, our applicants go through an oral interview board. If they successfully do that, then they uh, do a polygraph examination that goes um, very, very in depth. Um, after that, it's drug tests, physical. Uh, we do written testing, um, and then the background investigation. So there's a lot of things that there's, you have to pass to, that's right. to, uh, to be a part of this. You know, and when I guess you said it kind of ebbs and flows, but when did you guys see the biggest, um, you know, need? For, for dispatch people, um, you know, within your department? Probably during COVID. Um, COVID is when we really hit our peak on the vacancies. And then, of course, I mean, everything was happening during COVID. So um, ever since then, um, is when we kind of seen the, the vacancies kind of stay at a steady level. Yeah, never really kind of get back up to where you're fully, fully staffed. Fully staffed, again. right. So you said 21 is when you're fully staffed. Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, you know, and with this, I know a lot of people know what a dispatch operator does, you know, but can you explain to people how important it is for, um, you know, the really Smith County to have these people and have enough and why a shortage is, you know, hurting you guys? Sure. So the Smith County Sheriff's Office is the primary answering point for any 911 call that comes in in Smith County, excluding the city of Tyler and the city of Lindell. And so having the proper staffing um, there is, is critical. Um, they, they take the call and will either dispatch a fire department, a police department, the sheriff's office obviously, or they'll transfer the call to EMS. Um, they, they do a wide array of duties and it's crucial to be staffed up. 